Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex, and this episode's subject comes in from Gross Games. Or is that Gross Games? Don't know. Alex, here's my question. What's your opinion on the upcoming Star Wars Battlefront? Do you think it will be good? Do you think it will be bad? Or could it just be a really bad retextured battlefield? Do I think it's going to be anything? Uh, I think I'm going to be disappointed by it, to be honest. I, I don't really like battlefield as a series i don't really trust dice with it as a company but at the same time to give them a fair shake they do know how to make a shooter whether you like it or not i just i just don't really like the whole uh, military aspect of it i don't really care about that sort of thing so maybe this it will be star wars that gets me involved in it but what i'm worried about most is thinking about the battlefield games thinking about their track record are they gonna forget what made battlefront so fun for me because Battlefront for me was, I always played in third person, and it was just about having goofy, silly fun, where you, you just make these custom games where you fight AI, on like, there are tons of maps, and all these crazy game types and everything, large-scale warfare, and immediately, there's one thing that will make it so I won't buy this game. If they announce that there's no AI support, there are no bots running around the field, I'm out. I don't care. If this is... If, the, if there's no way to play it solo like that, or with just a few friends on your same team going against AI, I don't care. I, 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 I'm sick of this, this constant focus on this competitive multiplayer aspect on everything. That, that There is a space for fun, casual stuff like that. And that is what the original Battlefront, or well, the two of them, focused on and made it so fun and memorable. And it's still fun to go back and play now. That's the thing, because there are so many maps. There are so many like factions and different ways of um all the different soldiers and stuff you know all the different you know, the droids and the, the 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 clones and the stormtroopers and the rebels and everything and the ships i think what i have a feeling what they're going to try and do is that they're going to sell the game at first with all the star wars nostalgia stuff like they did at the last d3 thing where it's like look at us we're going to all the original places from the original trilogy to get like really realistic scans and things of everything and going to the to George Lucas's warehouse full of all the Star Wars shit. And I'm sure the look is going to... The look, the sound, because that's what the DICE is super good at. It's going to look great. It's going to sound great. Everything's going to like look right, but is it going to feel like a Battlefront game? I don't want them to turn it into a Battlefield. Yes, this is all about the multiplayer. Have the multiplayer option in there, because the, the multiplayer option is in there in the original... I'm not sure about the first one, but it definitely was in the second one. I've played it online a few times on the PC, but it's still... It is still that goofy fun, and that's what it should be. That's what the that's what the series should represent. And I just don't trust Dice to do it. Have they done like AI before? Have they ever done that in any of their previous games? I'm trying to think, Mirror's Edge, I suppose there probably would have been some kind of AI, but that's different. It's not you're not replicating like a, a human sword or anything. So what it comes down to for me is just EA Dice. You got to remember. You got to you got to build on the roots of what this series is. Sure, the, the gameplay can be refined. It is quite dated now, especially in terms of how it looks. They're going to get the look right. You got to get. You got to make it feel right. You got to make it. You got to have both options in there. You just got to. It's a lot of shit they have to do, really. And then you got the campaign as well. Like the the first two had the the story player mode, story player single player modes where they sort of went through big fights and moments from the original trilogy and the and the prequels and shit. And we still. At the end of the day, we still don't really know anything about the game. Is it going to somehow tie into Episode 7? Because it's going to release at a similar time, in theory, to that. Because that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? If you have like new vehicles, new maps and everything. It would be nice if they had like the the original trilogy. like You go through the story from one side. Because what was cool about Battlefront 2 was the way you were like the Empire, pretty much the whole way. You started as the clones and you turn into the Empire. And then you, you fight all the big fights and it ends with the Hoth thing where they win. So that was a cool way of doing it. They could do something like that again, and as long as you have the goofy stuff with the Jedi and the the hunt mode from Battlefront 2 was really cool, where you could play as an Ewok, you could play as the Wampers on Hoth. That's the kind of thing that Battlefront is to me, just the the silliness. The Well, you know, it doesn't have to be too silly. I mean, it's still Star Wars, you know? And I hope to God, almost almost most importantly, the vehicles need to, con they need to control and be fun. I, I've 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 used the vehicles in the battlefield games and I fucking hate it. I hate the way they control. They just feel awkward to me, especially the way the things fly. And and I I expect there are going to be like heavy elements of space battles or like getting in a ship and flying into a space battle on the field. 
I'm just, I'm just going to reserve, I'm going to place my bet now and say, no matter what, I'm probably going to be disappointed because I'm going to be hyped up to just a silly level and no matter what they do, you know, it's my fault and this is my fault entirely. But at the same time, I do think they're going to make a, hopefully make a decent game. They've had an, a nice amount of time, I think, was it three years about? And as long as certain things are in there, as long as it doesn't have that super focus on multiplayer and there is a way of playing it solo or just with friends in a more cooperative way, I'll be in there. So, so what do you guys think? Do you is there something in particular that, like like with me, uh, that you would need to see in there to be able to to put your faith in it and buy the game, or are you just are you out already because of who's developing developing it, or are you suddenly interested? Like if you haven't played them before, it's like, oh, are, are there people that want the the Battlefield reskin? Like I'm sure there there are plenty of people of oh the Battlefield fans out there. Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. And make sure you leave suggestions for future job labs. I'll see you next time. Bye. Why would they do that? But you know, it's just a, it's just a movie, and, and and probably I assume what the message is going to be is that it, it's the punishment for creating life, sort of thing. And they'll probably get like one of the original dinosaurs to defeat it in the end, or something like get a T-Rex in the third act to come in and kick its ass, something like that. We just don't see enough dinosaurs, you know. It's, ever since Jurassic Park three, say what say whatever you want about it, it's still you know a goofy, fun movie with cool effects and dinosaurs running around.